We covered option groups uh, in an earlier clip on studying your first deck, but I only covered it superficially there. And it's a really important way for you to be able to mix and match the number of cards that you see each day by deck so that you can fine tune things as you go throughout the year. At the beginning of the year, when you have fewer cards perhaps to study and a bit more time, you might want to up your number of reviews and your number of new cards. Whereas when you're heading towards the end of the year or toward an exam, you might want to turn down the number of um, review cards that you see and up the number of new cards to clear through some content that you might not have covered yet. Um, or alternatively, it might be uh, your focus to review cards and just ignore some of the newer ones that you haven't got through. And you can do that by setting option groups. So if I look at deck, uh, sub deck one and look at the options, uh, I've currently got the test option group for that, uh, which will see me seeing 30 new cards a day and 50 review cards. So cards that I've seen before, but are up for me to see again for that particular deck. Now I can actually create a new options group using the add button um, and adding a new name so that that will apply just to this deck because by default, the default set that you'll have when you first set out with Anki will actually apply to all of your decks. And what that means is by changing the option groups and setting, a, setting up a range of different option groups, you can apply those option groups at different points in the year. So I've got some groups here that I've set up which will show me 30 new cards a day and 50 review cards for that deck or 50 new cards a day and 15 review cards for a deck. So if I set that for sub deck one, I've then uh, limited the number of um, cards that I'll see of one type versus the other. Now, you can also set really high limits for higher level decks. So we see we've got some sub decks here under the demo. We've got anatomy, general, and histology. And the way that this works is that the top level demo deck will actually contain um, all of the cards that are in the sub decks beneath it. So if I had a set of cards, um, a set of decks actually, which have a very high number of cards, and here's an example of that, my ANU Medicine set. If I had uh, the options group at the top level for say so see 50 cards that are new and 50 that are review, I'm only going to see a small proportion of the cards that uh, actually exist in the sub decks beneath it. And I might want to be able to access a whole uh, lot more than that if I just want to study the cards at this higher level. And in fact, even if I don't want to study the cards at this higher level, it can sometimes be quite useful to get a feeling for how many new cards I have across all of the subjects here or how many uh, review cards I have across all of the subjects just to get a feel uh, for how I'm going. These option settings will also be useful when we come and look at filtered decks which will actually take cards from across a range of different decks uh, and what you can do is then set the options group for your filtered decks quite high so that you'll study as many cards as you can in a day from those filtered decks. And because you can have those cards presented to you randomly, it means that when you get to the point of cramming towards an exam, you can pick cards from across all of the set that you have. Maybe you'll pick them according to when they're next due, or maybe, maybe you want to see them randomly, and you'll um, be able to see a high number of cards. Another setting that's really useful in study is under the preferences and you'll see that in the basic preferences there's a selection for whether you see cards in a mix of both the new and review ones whether you see the new cards after you see reviews or whether you see new cards before reviews and this can be really useful if you want to focus on a deck and you, you want to see both review and new cards but you really want to see the new cards first and that's great because it can allow you to see the new cards in the order that you added them. So there's a little bit of structure to those new cards before you see them. For the uh, review cards, you'll often be seeing those in a semi-random order. 
because they'll be presented to you according to when they're next due for review, which in turn depends on how well you did on those cards in a prior session.